We're not New York. We're not L.A. We're sure not Chicago. We fix our problems. You have a new mayor in what can fairly be described as a landslide. Longtime state senator John Whitmire coasted past Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee with a message of constructive change, radically improved public safety, and an immediate end to a culture of corruption at City Hall. Great cities solve their problems. We will make this a safer city. We will do it by recruiting more officers, supporting the officers we have, the coalition building with other agencies. Our infrastructure will be repaired and fixed, not only streets, but water. Panel, I believe Whitmire prevailed handily because pragmatists across the political spectrum viewed him as an agent of positive change, capable of riding a ship that has blown severely off course. I'm going to start with you, Sue Lovell, because I think you probably know John Whitmire the longest. Is that an accurate assessment? It is. I mean, overwhelmingly, the city said, um, we're embracing John's plan, what, he's, you know, what he ran on, his campaign promises, and it was a real rejection, I think, of the Turner administration. I think they viewed if Sheila won, it would just be Turner time again, and they rejected that. They, they want a city, what, what the, the mayor-elect, which sounds so good to say that, said is we're going to fix this city and all the problems. And they believe him and they've embraced it. And it's an it's a incredible win. I can't remember um, that we've had that large a margin. Um, I think it goes all the way back to when Jim McGovern was, was elected in the, what, 70s. All right, uh, Gary Pollan, uh, we saw big activity in some of the more conservative boxes. Clearly, they chose uh, John Whitmire as, as the, the leader they'd like to see when compared to, to Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Uh, this isn't supposed to be a partisan race, but we all know it is to some degree. They could have stayed home, but they didn't. No, well, first of all, I, I think Sheila Jackson Lee tried to make it a partisan race. She tried to say that, that John Whitmire was embracing uh, the MAGA Republicans. Well, that fell flat, obviously. She drew a lot of negative turnout. The people said, we don't want her because we don't want a third term of the disaster that Sylvester Turner's been for the last eight years. And the thing I found most intriguing, what I think drove Republicans, is John ran a positive campaign and ran on uh, things that he was going to do. We're going to take care of public safety. We're going to take care of infrastructure. Those are his two top priorities, and you know what? The voters gave him a mandate. But I will tell you also this. John is not in inheriting a warm bed. This is going to be very difficult to turn the battleship of the, of the city of Houston around and get it going in the right course because we have... We have really blown it over the last eight years. All right, Sergio Lira, uh, top Latino leaders in, in our city, got behind uh, John Whitmire early. I think when we break the vote down, he probably uh, you know, won probably 65% of their votes, and, th and that's a big number. Why was that? Absolutely, because he's always been there for many years, uh, back into the Mario Gallegos uh, when he was in the Senate. He has always been in our community. He has always supported legislation at the state level that were in favor of the state representatives at the time that were Democrats. They've, they've seen him, you know, walk the talk. But as you know, and I know, and a lot of folks know, that I was this close of moving out of the city, our beloved city, because my daughter and my grandkids had left due to the crime. But, you know, Senator Whitmire, now Mayor Whitmire, he's a no-nonsense guy. He has a track record of fighting crime, but also compassion for second chances, folks to want to get out of the uh, penal system. So uh, he has a no-nonsense approach, and crime is the number one issue in our community, and he's going to tackle it. He has the experience, and everything else is secondary. All right, I saved my two show-me guys for last. <laughs> you know, show me, you know, it's easy to make pledges, but show me progress. Uh, what does John Whitmire have to do to gain your confidence, gain the confidence of the city, because he's he's promised a lot to fix a lot of problems. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, he has, and I, and I think he has a mandate to do so. I know four years ago, the mayor, Mayor Turner, when he won re-election, kind of went into that second term with what he thought was a mandate, and that was a much closer margin. And I think Whitmire goes in with an actual mandate. And, and <clears throat> personally, what I want to see is, is a you know head-on tackle of the city finances. That's something that we've talked about consistently on this show for years. Um, you know, dealing with the issue with the firefighters, dealing with the issues with, with crime and HPD. Um, as we talked about last night, you know, yesterday at 11. AM, someone was killed outside of the gallery. I mean, it, th there are issues in this city that he's going to have to tackle head on. Um, ethics. We've seen so many ethical lapses at city at City Hall over the past eight years. And so what I'm hoping to see is kind of big, bold reforms coming in in the first six months, really tackling some of these issues, setting the ground, laying the groundwork so that we know what we're going to be seeing for the next four years. You know what we do on this panel? I think we hold people accountable. <laughs> and you know something? You're going to be there this time next year and, every, you know, multiple weeks in between holding this new administration accountable. What do you want to see? Um, I want to see Houston move forward. I want to see Houston make significant progress. I want to see Houston uh, reach the potential that, that it has. And that's a big charge uh, for the mayor. I do want to, you know, just point out um, that, that this can, by, by Mayor Elect's own admission, this can has been kicked down the road by several different mayors. So this didn't just happen to the city of Houston over the last eight years. It happened over the last 16 years, even the last 20 years, the, the financial, the fiscal problem that we have, as well as some other things. So there's been a couple of mayors that, that, that have had to kick that can down the road. Hopefully, uh, the mayor elect will uh, honor his his word and not kick down the can down the road and solve the problem. It's, and it's going to be a huge undertaking. Also, I, I just want to, and, and this is no slight, I want to make sure that the, the mandate, we, we got to start, you know, the, the pool wasn't, um, I mean, we, this, this wasn't gold medal, uh, um, medalist uh, caliber, right? Pool of uh, candidates, right? So let's not act like, um, you know. <laughs> well, we had a bunch of people run. We had a bunch, <laughs> we had a of, bunch people of people running. run. Yeah. The, but that's just mean we had a bunch of people run. That's all that means. <laughs> all right, all right. We're going to talk more about this race. Still to come.